Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Farthest Frontier, where today we'll see if we can upgrade the town centre of Geekvale from tier 3 to tier 4, because we've finally met all the requirements. We've got 25 large houses, we've got a theatre, in fact we've got two of those because we're very cultured around here in Geekvale, we've got a trading centre, and now we have over 300 people living here as well, which is wonderful. So we could get that going. The only problem is, of course, resourcing this huge project. We need 150 bricks, we're not quite there yet, three and a half thousand gold, nowhere near that right now, 100 iron I think we possibly are quite close to, and then we need a huge pile of planks, and we're a bit low on planks right now because people used up all the planks on upgrading to the large houses. So we have got plenty of logs, so that'll kind of top up in time I think, we'll get plenty of planks back in time, but right now very low on planks. So I think what we'll do is, we'll keep this in mind because we do want to get that done, but we're going to park the idea for now. It's just too much to do at the moment with the resources we have. And instead, we're going to finally build a furniture place. I keep saying we should go and build a furniture workshop or whatever it is, and then I just keep forgetting. I get distracted by a raid or an animal attack or a butterfly or something, but now we really are going to build one. So here we go. Let's go and find it. It'll be down here somewhere, won't it? A furniture workshop. Craftsmen at the furniture workshop use wooden planks to build sturdy, functional furniture, a fine luxury during such trying times. Okay, now the good thing about that is that it does not affect desirability at all. It's got a kind of sort of a yellow circle with a, a minus sign in it, but I don't think it has any bearing. It's a completely neutral thing. So hang on, we can test that out. If we put that over there, yeah, nobody's bothered. Nobody's bothered at all. So hang on, where are the plankeries? The plankeries are all down here, so it would make sense to build it over there. The only thing is we can't build it over there because for some reason, yeah, that's too near the water's edge, I think. I think that's too near the water's edge. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, so what we could do is, if there is a plankery there and a plankery there, could we? Oh, but who's going to want to work over here? <laughs> because now, of course, we've got the two poop collecting places just there. And people don't really want to work near those, do they? It's going to be a little bit whiffy around there. Hang on. Hang on. What could we do with a bit of a road connection over here? So we've got the, um, yeah, there's the, there's the poop collecting place. So could we just run a road straight through to uh, there? Yeah, so connect that up over there. So we'll have a road like that going around the edge of the two poop places and then down to here near the cheese place. And then maybe we could put the furniture place along there. And then we've got room for a road to go over there. I'm still a little bit hesitant to build too much stuff near there. But you know what? The glass place is near there. The glass makers near the poop houses. And that's, you know, that's okay. They don't complain about the smell too much. So maybe the furniture people won't either. Hang on a minute. Let's go back and grab that. What do we need to actually build that? We need a large tool thingamajig. Uh, need 10 stone, got that. 100 planks, that might be quite tricky to get sorted. And a little bit of effort. I mean, we can't put it there, I don't think. Because it's a little bit too hilly over there. We might just have to kind of accept that it's going to be over here. It's going to be near the poop houses. But do you know what? That's fine, it's okay. I mean, you're a furniture workshop. Which means you must be pretty good at working with wood. So you can make some pegs. Make some pegs for your noses. It'll all be fine. So there we go. We currently don't have, we haven't got the planks, we know that, but we haven't got the um, the heavy tool thingamajig. That could be a bit of a problem. Okay, so let's get that placed anyway. So they're on along that little road there. We can have a road going up that way, and that way is to the cheese place. Okay, right, so that's in. That might take a while to get sorted, but at least it's been placed down. And something else that I think we should get in, and that was kind of suggested in the comments on the previous video. And again, thank you commenting people, keep the comments coming. Uh, we should possibly get ourselves another little orchard set up and get some more arborists because last time somebody did die of scurvy, which does imply that we're not getting enough lovely vegetables and fruit around the place. And I mean, really it's fruit, isn't it? That's, uh, yeah, is it vitamin C for scurvy? So you want apples and pears and peaches and all that kind of stuff. So maybe we do need to get another arborist in and set up another little orchard. That would be quite good. Um, I've just noticed the fishery places are going a bit wibbly. This is just a bit of a problem. When you load the game up, when you load the game up, there we go, like that. Um, they're often stalled like that. 
and then if you just readjust the position of one of them, the other one is unacceptable. It's all sort of fine. So I don't quite know what's going on there, but we are playing on a relatively old sort of save now. You know, the Farthest Frontier has been updated many times since we started this, so I think that's a relic of that. But there we go, that's all sorted out. Right, so where can we put a lovely orchard? I mean, I'm thinking possibly over here, because that's going to be a bit of a funny-shaped field. That's not going to really make a very good field at all, but it's quite lovely fertile land to grow some lovely fruit. I think that'll be quite good. So hang on a second. Where is the arborist? Hang on, it's going to be in food production, isn't it? So is it there? Yes, an arborist building and fertility over there for growing fruit and stuff is very high indeed. Okay, that is wonderful. So what we could do is, I think... We'll get another road going along like that. There is a fence there. I suppose we don't need that fence anymore. That was to try to keep the animals out. But now there's quite a big fence going all the way along there. So I'd like to think that the animals won't be coming in unless they come in through the big open door over there. But let's hope they don't do that. So, um, yeah, I think maybe we could get rid of that fence now. Although it does look quite nice. It does look quite lovely. A proper little field with a fence around it. Do you know what? We'll keep it there for old time's sake. It's fine. Um, okay, so what we'll do is let's get the arborist set up over here then. But the slope is too steep because of course it is. Um, right, they're going to have to go down here. They're going to back onto the, um, whatever that is, the hunter place or the gatherer hut or whatever it is. So they can go just there. And then when they're in, they can plant many trees around here and it shall all be fine. Okay, right. So plenty of work for people to be doing. Lots and lots of stuff going on. But there we go. It's all ticking over quite well. We could do... Is that a travelling merchant I see? No, that's one of our own merchants. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I was kind of hoping that maybe we get a travelling merchant in. We have got Atka of the Iron Clan. Have we been to see you yet, Atka? I can't remember what we did last time. Have we been to see you? Have we traded with you already? Because we do need some money. We do need quite a bit of money to upgrade the town centre. So, um, yeah, and also we need bricks. And for bricks, we need clay. Okay, so are you selling clay? Uh, however, you are selling heavy tools and we do need one of those. Uh, you are selling them very, very extortionately. You're selling them at a hugely inflated price. Um, okay, how, how about over here, look? The Blacksmith Forge. Um, oh, this building can take advantage of heavy tools, but has none. Production has been reduced by 100%. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue, isn't it? So the Blacksmith isn't doing anything. Right. Hello, Atka of the Iron Clan. I see you're selling heavy tools and you're ripping us off with the price, but alas, we can't do anything about that. So can we please have some? Um, so we'll sell you some pottery, although you're buying that for less than the average price. But do you know what? We need the money. So that's essentially one of those heavy tool thingamajigs. Um, and you can have some candles. That's another one. Okay. And I think possibly we buy... I mean, if we could buy four of those, that'd be handy because the windmill needs one as well. So buy and transfer that. That was a bit painful, but there we go. Um, yeah, and hopefully more traders will come by and then we can you know, get some more, uh, do some more trading with them to actually make a bit more money. Because, yeah, that's uh, that's drained our account over here in the trading centre, which is a bit of a shame. Um, got 92 iron, got some weapons. Everything else is fine. We just need those heavy tools. Okay, right. That's good. I imagine those heavy tools are going to go straight out to where they're required. So over here, I want to make sure that that heavy tool arrives. And whatever problem that villager had is no longer a problem because they've been cured. Happy days. Okay, wonderful stuff. It was smallpox. Okay, that's quite a good thing that you've got rid of there because smallpox is you know, very unpleasant indeed. So there we go. Well done. And look at that. Finally, the blacksmith has sprung back into life. Heavy tools are being used for work. This is good stuff. And yeah, we changed the ratio, didn't we, last time? So make some tools, some weapons, and some heavy tools at the same ratio. So make three lots of tools, three lots of weapons, three lots of heavy tools. Please make lots of heavy tools, because you kind of ran out before. You do have... Hang on. Hang on. That doesn't make any sense. You had two in storage, but then you had none that you were using, and then you stopped working. 
why not? Here's an idea, people in the Blacksmith Forge. Why not take two of the heavy tools that are in your storage, get rid of one of them, put one aside, and then use the other one to carry on doing your work? That's a little bit silly, isn't it? I don't quite know why that's... Why are they not moving those? Have we got nowhere to put those? The building storage is full. Heavy tools. Hang on, maybe they can only ever have two in there. Why aren't we putting them in a warehouse? Hang on, hang on. Can the warehouses... That's a candle shop. Where's a warehouse? Somebody show me where a warehouse is. What do they like? There. Can you have heavy tools in a warehouse? Yes, you can. So why didn't we take the heavy tools out of the blacksmith and put them into the warehouse? I don't fully understand why that was a problem. Okay, so maybe we just spent a great big load of money on something that we didn't really need to spend money on, but never mind. What else uses the heavy tools? They do, so the plankeries do, and the plankeries are going to be very important for us going forward. Oh, hang on, hang on. Lovely compost, here we go. Um, That's pending compost. That field is pretty annihilated, isn't it? Hang on, I think. We need to sort this field out. It's not got anything to do with fertility in it. And also, it's infected with turnip leaf spot as well. Lovely. So how about, how about we change this? So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I think what we have to do is, for a couple of years over there, we need to get the fertility back because it's just so awful. So how about we do some clover? So we'll have clover and then we'll have clover and then a bit of work no we can't do that unfortunately and over there we'll have a bit of work and clover and another bit of work okay so next year they're going to work on removing like rocks and stuff and weeds then they're going to grow some clover and then they're going to work on it again and the year after that it's just two lots of clover to try to get fertility back up and then they can grow some leeks again so we might be a little bit low on food but that field is in a pretty bad way. We'll try and top up fertility with some compost. Have we got any compost from over here yet? From the old place over there? No, no, we haven't. 79% okie doke. How's the new one doing over here? 15 planks required. Okay, so not quite there yet, but that's okay. And then of course, we're trying to build one over here as well, right out in the middle of nowhere because yeah, it looks like it's a little bit lost at the minute. There is gonna be a great big wall going along that way. And now we do need to decide as well where the wall is going to go. And a few people, hang on, there's a building on fire. There is a building that's a little bit on fire. Somebody save the sunflowers. Okay, there's a well on the other side of the road. If that building burns down, there we go. Sort of, I was gonna say that should be nice and easy to fix. Uh, two people have been born. Welcome to the settlement, Una and Ratha. Are they both in the same house? Again, exciting stuff. Got some twins, that's very lovely. I assume they're twins. Um, yeah, so we need to figure out where the wall is going to go. At the moment, it just stops there, but of course, that's a bit silly, isn't it? A villager has died of old age. A poor farmer named Geldrin has died from old age. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Rest well, Geldrin. Thank you for your service to Geekvel. I'm sure you've done much in the way of farming and you've kept many people's bellies full with lots of lovely vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. Well done, Geldrin. It's a bit sad you've passed away, but there you go. Hopefully we can give you a jolly good send off and then you can be over here. We can join the rest of our Geekvel people over here. Look at that. We don't really like seeing people in here, but I suppose dying of old age is better than, you know, dying from a raid and having a sword sticking out your head or whatever. That's a little bit better, isn't it? You know, he served his time. I'd like to think that maybe Geldrin had a bit of retirement. I mean, was he working? Did he collapse in the field? Or did he have a little bit of retirement at the end? I don't know. But there you go. Farewell, Geldrin. Right, hang on. The wall. I'm trying to talk about this wall over here. So, um, yes, currently it goes to about there-ish, I think. So it's going to kind of come this way. I'm thinking if we could bring it past here, look, if we could bring it past that little pond, we could put another fishing thing over here and they could do some fishing over there. That'd be quite good. And then bring it down here. So what would that encompass? If we had a wall going along here, say, right past the edge of that, so we get some willow. But over here, so sort of, it's, there's so many things, look. There's clay. We could have a little clay thing on the outside of the wall and a door. 
and they could just work here and come in. That'd be okay. Uh, we've got some herbs over there. There's Hawthorne. There's clay just there. So maybe if the wall kind of went out like that a little bit and then the wall could just go to that water there because people in the comments have pointed out that the bad guys can't do anything with the water. They don't wade through the water. So as long as we build right to the edge of the water as far as we can, that should be okay. And then we pick up over here and maybe just, I don't know how we're going to do that on this side. It's a little bit more complicated. So we'd have to build a wall across here. We know they can go that way because we wandered out that way. Do you know what we need? We need to do a little bit of exploring over here. Could somebody have a wander there, 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 there? Go around that part of the world, please. Because I'm not entirely sure what's there. And then over here, we're trying to get the wall sorted over here as well. Um, it can just sort of, maybe actually, hang on. Could it not just run all the way to the edge there? It could just run all the way down to the edge. Because again, they can't come in via the water. That's not a thing they can do. So we can go all the way down to there and we use the water as a natural barrier. And then we could just draw a line across there. And then I don't think they can kind of, they can't sky rim their way up and down the mountains, I don't think. So maybe that's what we do. Do you know what? Hang on. Before I forget about that, let's get that wall sorted down here. So walls and roads. Um, we are going to need a gate over here at some point. So possibly, hang on, where could the gate go? Can the gate go? Ah, right. The slope is too steep for a gate. Is it too, it's too steep for, <laughs> um, okay, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. It's fine there. Just there is fine. There is some iron just there though. There is iron just there and there's coal just there. Okay. Hang on a second. Hang on. We want to try and work our way around these problems. So can we build, this is going to be a bit fiddly, isn't it? Um, I think we build, we can build right next to that, can't we? So how about then get rid of that wall section? Don't bother doing that. Just yeah, get rid of that. It's fine. Don't bother doing that bit. And then we'll have a bit going like that. And then we can have a bit coming down like that because that's okay, apparently. So that's all fine. And then we'll have a gate over here. So hang on a minute, rotate it round. Um, I mean, which way should the doors, the doors go in or out? I imagine you open them out to the city, don't you? You'd open them outwards. Okay, so pop that like that. And then we'll have... Yeah, we kind of want it to come across from here, look. So from there, and then bring it to... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Where's the wall bit that we just did? To there, look. Like that. So there's going to be a bit of wall coming down here. And that's kind of it. So... We've got this, there's a big chunk of rock there as well, within our territory. There's some fish over there, that's very good. And then we need to sort out some other walls, but okay, that's okay for over there. Let's see what we can figure out over here. Can somebody go wandering and have a little walk about in the gloom and let us know what's over there, please? Because that would be very handy. And also, we're now entirely out of planks, oh dear. How's our place over here looking? How's the work camp looking? Um... Okay, they can't, they're not doing anything. Oh, okay, good. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, of course, because they've chopped all the trees down over here. Um, okay, how about then work over, I like our trees there though. It's unlikely we're going to build on that bit there. I like the fact that we do have a little kind of natural sort of hill area there. That's where the boars are. I don't really want to chop that down. Um, let's go over there, look. We might build over there at some point. Hopefully you can go over there. There you go. Chopping trees. Wonderful. There we go. And do you know what? If there are any rocks, do... Um, I don't know. What's that then? Do... Uh, yeah. Want, and do you know what? Actually, get some more wood. So three lots of wood to one lot of rocks, please. That would be quite handy if you would be so kind. There we go. Um, right. Has anybody gone over here? Yes. People have gone over here for a bit of a wander. There is a person who's gone wandering. Arahan. Okay, Arahan. Are you going over to that furthest point there? How big are the maps? The maps are absolutely enormous. I'm staggered by the size of the maps. Okay, right. So pretty good over there. So then, yes, if we were to build, say, down here. Someone's got scurvy. We're trying to work on that game. Build down here and then build sort of across from here over to, say, a wall that just runs along there. 
because yeah, we can just run a wall straight past the edge of the pasture and have a little gate over here. We don't necessarily need all that over there. We've got plenty of land. So I think that might work as a barrier over there. So can we... Do you know what? Hang on. I'm, I'm getting too ahead of myself. We've got way too much stuff happening. Way too many things going on. They're trying to sort out stuff over here. They're chopping down trees in this part of the world. So, okay. Let's give them time to sort out the walls that we've asked them to build already before we start planning every single other wall. Um, yeah, plank shortage is a bit of a problem. We can't build the barracks over there. That village has been cured of scurvy. Hooray, they ate an apple or whatever. Um, yeah, we're going to need planks over there to build the arborist. We need planks over here to build the poopy houses. Four new people have been born, which is wonderful. We've got Bath and Grainer and Radana and Gestav or Gestav possibly. So population now up to 300 and seven people here in Geekville, which is wonderful. That's very, very good. I'm very pleased with that. Do you know what we could do? I know I just said, hey, let's not give them any more building things, but it looks like, is that complete, that row completely in line with that one that it is? <laughs> That's perfectly in line. That's a big, long, straight road. That I think, yeah, it doesn't really require that much in the way of effort, look trees to chop down along the way but look that that was perfectly in line so now we can finally have a bit of a road connecting that bit over there with this bit down here which is very good indeed oh hang on a second the furniture workshop's in <gasps> okay maybe that's why we were low on planks but now we're finally making furniture how much have we made no furniture at all it might have only just opened up so eldara and leoda are making furniture. Okay, but now they're clearing off because it is extremely cold. Everyone's going to go home and sit around the fire and have a cup of tea and all that kind of stuff. Okay, do you know what? That's absolutely fine. That's okay. If it's a bit chilly, you all go home. Yeah, it's all good. You can go home, have a sit down and come back when it's less cold. Okay, so year 28 has begun here in Geekvale. That's very good. Two new villages have been born. Who have we got? Valina and Elman. Welcome. And then two livestock animals. But I imagine that is going to take us over our limit. So I know we're on population 10 out of 10. So no slaughtering required this time around. But next year, if that goes over 10, then yes, we'll have some animals to slaughter. But I think, how are we looking in terms of meat? We're looking okay in terms of smoked meat. But of course, when we do actually slaughter an animal, we do get other stuff from it as well. It's not just meat. We get tallow and hides and all that kind of stuff. But there we go. There's quite a lot of, quite a lot of trees in there. I thought we were supposed to completely annihilate those. Um, yeah. Can we please, again, go into here and clear all the trees? Because I thought we'd already done that. There's quite a lot of trees in there that we need to clear. Because they're just getting in the way. Do you know what as well? Let's clear all the bushes. Let's make it nice and empty for our cows to have a roam around. So, ah, maybe I didn't press that button. Do I want to press the clear button? Possibly I didn't press that. So hang on, they've been marked to be cleared. Yeah, remove as target. So now they are target. So, okay, that's good. Here comes a trader. Hello there. Somebody's been attacked by a predator. I've never really looked at the trading van things. Never really looked at them. Um, I know we did. Ages ago we looked at them. Because, yeah, there was it right early on in part one or two or three or something. But, um, yeah, look, they're kind of... <laughs> The, the model isn't quite right, because A, that wheel sunk into the ground quite a lot. Although, you know, it's been raining a bit and it's been snowing, so the ground is probably a little bit kind of soggy. But um, but yeah, they kind of don't seem to have a proper body. If we put it onto super slow speed, look, they're kind of, their head is detached from the rest of them. Okay, there we go. Do you know what, though? I appreciate the bunting. That's quite nice. I should possibly uh, pay attention to the people that are being attacked by predators. I kind of feel like maybe that's a little bit more important than the bunting. But okay. Who's doing some fighting? So, Osman the Builder is bravely taking on a boar. Okay, how is this going to go? He's doing a pretty good job. Right, the boar is now being targeted. There's a building on fire. Oh my goodness me. Um, a homestead over here. There should be a well nearby. Yeah, there's a well over there, look. So, it's not like it's a million miles away. It's only over there. Can we please go and sort that out? And there's one over there as well. So hopefully people are gonna hopefully people are gonna get on that pretty quickly. Can we possibly put the fire out? 
The building's a little bit sort of on fire, taking quite a bit of damage. I think people are coming in. Yeah, big group of people. Oh no! The fire is spreading. Oh dear. Okay. The Great Fire of Geek Vale is almost upon us. Okay, if we need we need to sort that out. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was gonna say I bet it's gonna spread to that and that. Does it cross roads? Does the fire jump across little sort of pathways? I do not know. But there we go. That's all sorted out. And now we have no stone. Okay. This is all going very well, isn't it? Right, hang on a minute. Let's get our traveling merchant person in and hope that they've got a massive load of stone. We had loads of stone once upon a time. What happened to that? Okay. Hello there, Scorv the Butcher. How are you? Um, you want to buy some herbs? Yes, absolutely. We've got loads of those. That's 125 money. Just nice, easy money right there. You can have some honey. A few people in the comments on the previous video did say, don't sell the honey, but we have got quite a lot of it and it does come back in quite quickly. So that's another 250 money. Um, he doesn't have any stone. He wants to buy stone from us. I'm very sorry. That's not going to pan out very well. Um, what else can we buy from you? Clay. We are quite low on clay, but we should be okay. Do you know what though? Tallow. We've, oh, hang on. We can buy that for one. Okay. Let's stock up on tallow, shall we? Because we use tallow to make soap and we need soap to keep everybody clean. Let's spend 139 money on 139 tallow. Yes. Buy and transfer that. That's quite a good use of that money. Um, uh, one bit of clay for four. For four money. That's quite expensive. But 620. Do you know what? Let's spend about 100 money. Uh, 112. There we go. 28 bits of clay. That'll do. Buy and transfer that. And everything else. Yes. We can't redo really too much with. I mean, if we could make a load of weapons, that'd be good. Nine weapons. However, however, I was just thinking, now ah, we could sell that for a lot of money, but soon enough. Oh, hang on. Over here. Pause time for a second. They've, what's that mean? Uh, there's no stone. Okay, do you know what? That That's a temporary shelter. Hang on a minute. Uh, it's fine. Just just cut down trees. It's okay. Don't worry about the stone. Get rid of that nagging message. Um, The barracks is up. The new barracks over here has been set up. So now we need to get some more Geek Vale Guard over here. So how about we get... Two people to begin with. Just two people. Let's see if they can equip themselves with range weapons and melee weapons and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what we can do. And then if they're all equipped and ready to go, then we'll grab a couple more. I don't really want to go, yep, yeah, there we go. Let's get another, what, 12 more people in. And then there'd be a great big crisis of no weapons and no this and that and the other. That will be bad. So let's just do that gradually, shall we? We've still got them over there. We've still got these guys over here, the original Geek Vale Guard. So, um, yeah, they're still around the place. But, yes, we'll do that one nice and slow, I think. Right, stone. What can we do with stone? There was over here... Hang on a second. There's a great big pile of stone over there and down there. So, hang on a minute. Can we please... Uh, not that, not that. Not trees. Don't really care about the trees. But, yeah, the stone over here would be very handy to have. There's huge big piles of stone. It's a little bit far away. It's a little bit distant. Is there any other stone kind of hanging around the place? Is there any other stone, say, over there? If we just do that and say, can I please have some stone? Is there any stone over there, maybe? No. Any stone in the forest? Uh, oh, there's a few over there. There's a few random bits of stone over there. Yeah, go and grab those, please because all the stone will be handy. We need lots of it to do lots of lovely, exciting building work. Oh, look at that. We've got the circle of life over here. Somebody succumbed to illness. So Pinius has succumbed to scurvy, but then a new villager has been born. Gillum has been born. Okay, Pinius succumbed to scurvy. A poor guard. Oh no, we've lost one of our Geek Vale guard. Oh, that's not very good. I did see, where was it? Over here. Ah, right. I assume they were in that tower because now there's nobody in that tower. Um, yeah, if we could get another Geek Vale guard person in there. Um, Mina, absolutely. You're now a guard. There you go. Go and pick up some weapons and do some guarding. Okay, that's all a bit sad. We don't really like losing people. How are we doing with the whole sort of setting up a thing over here? We need 37 planks. That's looking okay. And four stone. Okay, what we'll do is let's make that building there a priority. 
So don't put the stone into the walls, put the stone into the arborist building, please. That will be very handy indeed. Okay, right, so that's looking good. I realised that we didn't go and have a look at the furniture workshop building. We kind of went, yay, it's up and running, brilliant, they're making furniture, but we didn't go and look at the building itself. And it's a really nice building. Look at that, it's got a pointy bit on the top. It's got a little picture on the outside telling us what this building does. There's a lovely sort of hand-drawn picture of a chair and a sort of a wardrobe cupboardy thing and a chest of drawers as well. I like those. I like the little kind of art pieces that are on the buildings. There is a tree on the side of the building. Does that come with the building? Or is that just sort of in the way? I'm not entirely sure. But then we've got a little kind of ladder over there. There's a fancy window. More sort of artwork type bits on the side. It's also got this kind of row of like a yellowy plank bit and then little sort of diamonds on it which is very fancy indeed and then out here look they've got the things they're working on so there's a kind of half completed cupboard over there there's a fancy chair over there there's some barrels and there's some of the bits and bobs i quite like that there's a little sort of outside bit it's gonna be quite hard to okay that's the top of a hill i wasn't expecting that to happen <laughs> wow um okay hang on can we do our best to see out the back without flying up into a hill? Because that was a little bit strange. Um, that's about as good as we're going to get. And out the back, there's a little kind of, so whatever that is, like a little sort of uh, platform bit that leads out to the back of the house. And it's got a fancy bit at the top as well. It's got a little bit over there, which is quite good, like a spire type thing. There we go. So what have you done, actually? Oh, hang on. No, that's selected, not that building. There we go. Um, they've made four bits of furniture Oh, that's very exciting. We've got chairs now in Geekvale. So, yeah, it's very exciting that we had cheese in Geekvale once upon a time. Now we've all got chairs to sit on where we can sit and enjoy the lovely cheese. We've got another farmer fighting a boar over here. I think he's sort of okay. Oh, that villager is sick. Oh, okay, hang on a minute. What's wrong with you? Uh, typhoid. Oh, okay. So you've caught typhoid from the boar? Or you had typhoid before you got attacked by the boar? I'm not entirely sure, but whatever the case, you're now being attacked by a boar. There's somebody else behind you as well who I think might be running away. Creed was gathering honey, but then, yes, Creed has decided that, you know, running away is the better choice here. They don't want to get killed by a boar, and they've dropped their honey as well. It's all very sad. Hang on. How is this going to pan out? Because, yeah, you're going to get killed. Seaglan, I admire your bravery, but you are going to get a little bit dead. So how about you run over here and you go and get treated? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's make sure that you're okay. So hang on, put time to normal speed. And then hopefully, if you do manage to get over here and you're still being pursued by the boar, then the guard tower can take care of it. They can kill the boar or they can damage the boar so much that it kind of you know, thinks twice about this and goes away. They're not doing very good at shooting the thing. Hang on a minute. There we go. Splendid. All done. One thing we could potentially do over here, we've got the hospital over there, of course. We've got two people being treated for illnesses. But then over here, we've got our little kind of healer house thing. Could we upgrade that? No, we're lacking planks. We're always lacking planks. Okay, right. So we are working our way through the planks. How's the arborist? How is the arborist doing? 21 planks still required. It's taking a long, long time to get those planks over there. We do need to get those in. We need more fruit around the place. We need more people eating lovely, healthy things with vitamin C. Although... The hospital is doing a grand job of curing people. I'd rather people didn't get ill in the first place rather than having to spend time... Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's a bear there. There's a bear. And it's... Hang on. They're firing at it from over the walls, look. That's quite resourceful. Hang on a minute. Can they fire it at any more? I don't know. No, it seems to have... They've stopped firing. Where's the bear going? If the bear comes to the door, I'm going to be a little bit saddened by this. Don't let the bear in through the door. No, the bear's gone past the door. The bears use the slight loophole we have in our wall over in that part of the world. <laughs> There's a little bit of a technical issue there. I think, I think, yeah, look at that. The barracks is firing. The barracks is actually firing on this. Yeah, the bear is, um, yeah, the bear's right here now. I think it's going to be dead. There we go. And do you know what? That's more meat and more tallow and more hides and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, do you know what? We need to look at that over there. There is a little bit of a vulnerability in our defences, I would say. Um, how can we do this, though? Because that is just too steep. It just doesn't like it. So hang on, we're going to have to build where we can. So we can build um, like that, look. That's two more bits. And then we can build like that. That's okay. And we can build, and we can build it in sort of 
batches of two. Okay, that's just too much. We can build there, but that's not going to fly. Um, we could do with getting rid of those, <laughs> getting rid of the trees. It's really hard to see. I'm sure there's a button to get rid of the trees, but I don't know which one it is. Um, okay, so hang on a minute. So we've got, to, where are we? We're just there with the wall. So if we could then go like that. No, nope, that's, okay, do you know what? We'll let them build that bit of wall and then we'll see what we can do with plugging the gap over here. It's a little bit of a mess around there, isn't it? So we'll see what we can do with that in time. Um, okay, but get time ticking on, please. We need that arborist in, please. Oh, there you go, it's done. The arborist is in, this is exciting. Right, there's no fruit trees. Yes, I know, gang, we've not planted any yet. Hang on a second. So Lingon, which is uh, which is a lovely name, um, you are going to be our arborist. So you need to have some things to actually grow. So here we go. There's loads of room. Hang on, hang on. Could we ever so slightly shuffle your work area so you cover that region? And then we'll just, if I put a row of trees there, then we know where our farthest limit is for fruit trees. So I think, um, let's put the apple trees at the back, shall we? Um, so yes, yeah, so if we put an apple tree, are you going to cover that? We could put them anywhere, but if it's half in the your work area circle, do you care? Um, I'm not sure. Do you know what? We're just going to put them in it. So apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree. We're just going to drop that one at the top anyway. And then we'll get some more apple trees. This is going to take a little while to set up our orchard here, but it's going to be okay. So that's quite a lot of apple trees. And then let's get some peach trees in. So we'll get one, two, three, four... Five, six, oh crikey, where's it gone? Um, it's quite hard to see against seven. We can't put another one, that, can we put another one there? I don't know if we can put another one there. I can't see on account of the amount of trees. I don't think so. I think there's a building in the way. Um, okay, so that's quite a lot of peach trees. And then we'll get some pear trees down here. We'll have one and two and three, four, and only five over there. How about over there? We put another peach tree. I like that. Um, I think that's about it. But that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of stuff. I don't think... Can we fit something there? No, I don't think we can. It's obstructed by a building. That's a bit of a shame. Never mind. Right, so all that needs clearing out, which is going to give us some logs and stuff, which is good. But then, yes, we need to get lots of lovely fruit trees in. Food stocks are low. No, they're okay. It's late summer. The harvest is going to happen soon. They'll have loads of food game. Don't worry me like that. <laughs> Away with you. Everyone's got loads of cheese. It's going to be fine. Um, okay, right. So yeah, let's get this sorted out over here. And then people can have lovely, lovely fruit to snack on. And there we go. That field just got cleared. That got cleared. Oh, they had clover in. Okay, that's not going to produce much in the way of food. That is... Oh, look at that field. Flax wilt and flax rust. That field is not producing much in the way of flax. However, massive pile of turnips. Lovely turnips over there. That's some nice wheat going on. That's very lovely. And over here, we've got 287 beans, which is marvellous as well. So lots of food coming in game. Don't you worry about that. I think that's it. I think they've planted all of the fruit trees. We've got the different ones down here. Got pears and peaches and apples down there. So now we just need to wait for them to actually bear some fruit which is not going to be for a little while. I mean, yeah, the pear trees are very, very slow to mature. That's at 1%. The pear trees are a tiny bit quicker. That's at 3 And the apple trees are also very slow. They're at 1%. So at the moment, these are going to do nothing. Next year, maybe something. We might get like a handful of fruit from each one, possibly. The year after that, it'll be better. I mean, these have been in for a good long time. These have been in for ages. There are more interloping trees. Away with you, red pine. We don't want red pines in here. Hang on a minute. Get rid of you. Um, yeah, delete that, please. Make it go away. There's another big tree in there as well. <laughs> Peach trees are fine. Delete that, red pine. It just makes things look complicated and untidy over there. But yeah, look at that. That pear tree has been there for a good long time, but it now makes a lot of fruit, which is good. So yeah, that's yeah. it's going to take a while for that to actually take effect. 
but at least it's in. At least it can now start growing fruit, and it's going to take a while. But there we go. We'll get there in the end. Um, and Okran has been born. Welcome to Geekvale, Okran. It's lovely to have you here. We're in year 29 now here in Geekvale. That is very, very good indeed. That surpassed all my expectations. I thought we might you know, survive a couple of years, and then it would all go horribly, horribly wrong. But no, we're here in year 29. That's very exciting. And also... We've managed to acquire almost four and a half thousand money, now over four and a half thousand money, from general taxing of our people and the market making money and all that kind of stuff. So we've got quite a lot of gold. And of course, we are making our own gold bars as well. We've got the gold mine over there and over in the smithy places. Where is it? Over there. That's actually turning the gold ore into gold bars, which is very handy. So there we go. So we're making our own money as well, which is lovely. So I think what we could do is how much do we need to upgrade the town set to three and a half thousand. So I think for now, there's not that much gold in the trading post. So could we move for now just enough over? So we've got about the right amount to do that upgrade. We're not going to do it right now, but there we go. So we'll have one and a half grand in the trading post and just about the right amount of money in sort of general storage to upgrade the town center. Um, so yeah, oh, now we're lacking iron. We've got planks. We've got the gold, so we're lacking the bricks. Only two shy of bricks, but we do need 100 iron. Okay, that's going to be quite tricky. Um, yeah, we can't we can't press the button because we haven't got the iron, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, okay, what could we do about that? How are we doing for making iron over here? So they've produced 85 in the last year. So there's two iron ore in there. Now, they've made 1,100 money in, in in gold ingots. That's really good. But yeah, the iron production is quite slow. How are we doing for coal? How are we doing for coal? Only 170 coal remaining. I was thinking, do we get another foundry? Do we get another one of those? We can't upgrade that one. We need a tier four town centre. Um, another foundry would be quite useful. The only thing is, it is going to require more coal. How are we doing over here for coal? There's only 175 left over there. So I think what we do is, let's get another coal mine set up over there. Because there's 1,281 units of coal under there, which is quite good. There's another pile over there as well. Do we get two more coal mines set up? Over there, what's our current workforce like? 51 labourers, good grief. Yeah, let's put them to youth doing something else. Wow. Um, okay, yes, let's get this done then. So, um, where are we? Resources. So, coal mine. Yes, over there, please. And coal mine. Yes, over there. Okay, so two coal mines. We can then have a road going up like that, which is very good. And then if we could, if we could have, say, the road... Because I do like a nice road coming in to sort of... No, not like that. I want it to go up like that. But is that then level? Uh, no, I don't think it's... Ah, botherations. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. I know what we can do. Then we can have that going over like that. There we go. That connects up. So now there's a little kind of loop, which is handy. Um, so two coal mines. That can generate coal. Maybe we could sell some or whatever. How much gold is left over there? absolutely loads of it so we don't need to uh, have another gold mine um unless hang on but no if we're gonna have another foundry maybe that foundry could just make more that could just be like that so i could yep you know, make a little bit of gold that's fine the other foundry could concentrate exclusively on iron that might be quite handy okay so let's get that in so foundry okay can it go anywhere around here Okay, might possibly have to go... Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Could it go over there somewhere? Could it go behind that? But yes, it could. Hang on. Where's the front? There's the front. Okay, so it can go behind the furniture workshop. Yeah. Okay. Pop a foundry just there, please. In our little kind of... Well, I say little. In our sprawling industrial area over here now. Okay, so get that in. And then that's going to require some planks. But okay, we can work on that. And then we can get some iron in we have got quite a lot of stone as well now that's pretty good i think this has glitched out by the way that's gone a bit weird it's telling us that there's somebody here it's saying yep a traveling merchant is here but um yeah there isn't a traveling merchant it's all lies game um and yeah when you put your mouse over it it does the, the little sort of marker thing does glitch out slightly so that's gone a bit weird but that's okay 
when there's a merchant, their face appears in the corner, so we know when there's one around. There we go, exactly like that. So that is Masuke the Silver Tongue, is it? Yeah, there you go. Hello, Masuke, how are you? Right, you'd like to buy some candles. Okay, we've got 48 of those. That's okay. Oh, hang on a minute, pause time. A predator's been sighted. Hang on, we'll do some trading. Then we'll go and deal with that. So sell that for a bit of money. You want to buy some swords. Um, You would like to buy some furniture. But I think we're making furniture and then people are taking it to their houses and using it to, you know, store things in or sit on or whatever. So that's okay. Um, iron we haven't got much of. Beer you want to buy from us. Um, you would like to buy some cheese, but we're not going to sell you any cheese. We want to keep our hands on that, I think. Uh, tools, flour, glassware, bricks. Okay. We do need some bricks, but I think we're okay. We've got 158 bricks and we're not using them for much else. So we've got those kind of in reserve for the town centre. Really, it's iron. Iron is the big problem right now. I mean, flour. Hang on. How much bread have we got? We have got quite a bit of bread, but I don't mind spending a bit of money on getting 200 more sacks of flour because that can make quite a bit of food. So buy and transfer that. That's quite handy. Everything else we don't really need. We don't overly... I mean, he's selling glassware quite cheap. There's only one in reserve. I know we can make our own, but what if we spent... I don't know. What if we bought in 30 bits of glassware for a tiny bit of money? Do you know what? Buy and transfer. We'll buy some lovely glass in from you. Thank you so much. Right. Okay, hang on. Where is this predator? It's a bear. Okay. There's a carcass. Oh, carcass of a hunted animal. Hang on. Who are you then? You are Modana the Hunter. So you're out. Where are you? Um, oh, you're all the way over there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, they've done a grand job of building that wall over there. Well, that's very impressive. That was very fast. Good job. I'm, I'm actually genuinely impressed. Could we get another iron ore mine in? Hang on a minute. We've got the workforce to do it. Here we go. Let's sink some more mines. The slope is too steep. It's a mine game. It's a mine it doesn't matter whether it's hilly. That's kind of how mountains work. <laughs> you dig a hole. Um, okay. So I think... Does it say minerals in range? Um, hang on. So can we put the mine there and it's okay? It says minerals in range. So if we put it here, there's, a there's nothing there. There's a scraping of coal from there. Is there a coal... Oh, there, look. There's coal just there. Oh! Oh, yeah, there's coal just there. Ah, I see. So that is, that darker area is coal, and that's the iron. Okay, so we can put it there, and it's got the same amount of iron in it. Okay, yeah, let's pop a, an iron ore mine over there, please. And then we need to get a road to go up to it, of course. So hang on a second. Um, Let's bring it down like that. That's not entirely what I had in mind. Hang on a second. <laughs> no, not that bit. Away with you. There we go. That's destroyed the entire road. No game. No, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to do that. And then over to that. That's that's fine. That'll do. I need to stop fiddling about things. Oh, yeah, someone's being attacked by a predator. Hang on a minute. We should possibly pay attention to this. Um, okay, it's our hunter. Are they okay? Are they okay? They're pretty good at fighting. But they are fighting a bear. Oh, no, right. You need to run away. Madonna, time to run away. Discretion is a better part of valor. Time for you to leave this area, come down here, and hopefully that tower can help you out. But yeah, you do need to run away. We don't want to lose any more people. So, yeah, if you could just sort of leg it out of there, that'd be good. And attack by a predator. Yeah, okay. It's not somebody else. Right, let's make sure that you're okay. So running away, running away. Here we go. Right, come down here. Run through the new building works that we're doing. Right, here we go. Right, the bear's got bored. The bear got bored of chasing her, and now the bear is thinking, oh, I've made a terrible decision. They're firing arrows at me. Um, yeah, they're not doing too much damage. Not doing too much damage. But the bear is very handily running along that fence. So hang on. Is it going to go around the edge of the fence? It is coming around the edge of the fence. Oh, very cunning bear. Okay, hang on, though. It's attacking that building. Couple of good shots, and that bear will be dead. Kill it, kill, and there we go. Right, all sorted. And there's some more lovely meat for everybody to enjoy. Yay, bear burgers. Oh, crikey, two people have got cholera. That's not very good. Cholera is an infection spread through contaminated water that causes violent vomiting and diarrhea. Recovery chances are good if the afflicted are provided with clean water. 
ensure villagers have access to wells, and waste is removed from houses. Okay, so maybe again it's the waste issue. Maybe there is a little bit too much waste building up in people's houses. Okay, right, hang on. Can we see where the ill people are? Can we see where they are? Um, yeah, they've got the thing over their heads, aren't they? So, yeah, somebody in there has got cholera. There's only eight bits of waste in there. And over here, there's ten bits of waste in there. But, I mean, what's next door? Five over there, five over there. Nothing in there. Eight in there, eight in there. I mean, yeah, have we got the other poop building set up? Yes, we have. Also, that's ready to do some composting. Yay. Um, how about we put it on... Oh, that field there's really struggling. Chuck it into that field, please. That one there looks like it needs some help. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got the two of these now over here. So I'd like to think maybe now we've got a lot of these set up, it should start making a difference. But okay, so now we've got cholera going around the place, as well as smallpox and scurvy and everything else. Wonderful. Right, let's see what we can do with that wall over there. Can we now fix this wall? So hang on. Um, we want that. Um, it's going to have to go across... Uh, like that, and it might have to come. This is going to be really, really bad. <laughs> this is going to be the the worst wall because we just can't build down there. It's not going to work. So it's going to have to be this weird wibbly shape so it can fit over here. This is this is brilliant. Okay, well, hang on a minute. So can we build a wall that comes in like that? Yes, we can. Can we build a wall that goes across like that? No, we can build a wall. Uh, that does that. I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> what is that? That's that's all over the shot. Oh, what? I don't know what's happening over there. Again, there are too many trees. There are too many trees. Okay, there's a bit of wall going that way. We'll let them build those bits, and then we'll see if we can connect them up in some ramshackle fashion. Food stocks are low. Yep, they normally are in mid-spring game. It's all fine. Ah, now this could be handy. Atka of the Iron Clan has arrived, and we do need some iron, and I'd like to think she's selling some, given that she is from the Iron Clan. So hang on a second. Pause time. You're departing in 42 days. Right. Can we do a little bit of trading between you two? We have got an awful lot of iron ore. And she's buying it at a very good price. Even though you've got loads of it, it's a bit weird. Hang on, how much can we get for 25 iron ore? 200. Okay, sell that right now. That's 200 money coming to us. Um, are you selling anything that Chappie wants to buy? Hang on, I have to remember what exactly he wants to buy. So, um, okay, he wants to buy iron. Okay, he's willing to buy iron at 11 apiece. I imagine you are selling iron. You're not selling iron. You're called Atka of the Iron Clan. You're selling iron ore, that's okay, and you're buying iron ore, but you haven't got any actual iron. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Um, anything else you'd like to buy? Uh, tools? Oh, no, that's coming to us. Nope, sorry, hang on a minute. Furniture? No. Weapons? Okay, weapons. He's willing to pay 79 for some weapons. Are you willing to sell us weapons? No, you're not. I don't think there's a cross over there. I don't think there's something that yeah, they're willing to barter with. I don't think that's a thing. Tools. We can buy tools from you. But we can also buy tools from you. So, okay. Um, right. Let's get time ticking on there. So, um, Atka. Uh, you can have some pottery. That's okay. We'll sell you all of that. That's 360 money. That's quite nice. So we'll get that. And then... We will buy, uh, I mean, heavy tools. We'll buy another one of those because I'm a little bit paranoid that we're going to run out again. So buy and transfer that. And then can we buy some stone because you're selling it very cheap and we're going to run out at some point. So hang on. Can we spend all of our, well, hang on, not all of our money, a lot of our money to buy all of your stone? Absolutely, yes. Buy and transfer. Thank you so much. Right, so that should keep us going with stone for a very very long time indeed for absolutely ages okay right that's good this is good news how are we looking over here for all the new stuff have we got the other foundry in no we haven't but it is lacking in ah there you go stone just bought a load of that and a new heavy tool as well we just bought one of those that's very good the coal mines i think are up and running um yeah okay let's just load those up with people because we've got a huge kind of workforce that are predominantly laborers so Let's put them to good use. And then over here, 
Is that set up? Yes, it is. Okay, we'll gather some more iron from over there. Why not? Oh, crikey, another merchant has arrived. Hello there. I can't remember what your name is. Ah, Lethros of Cardell. Of course it is. Oh, now I've got to try and navigate whether they all want to sell things to me that I could then sell on to somebody else, and it's all complicated. Hang on, what would you like to buy? Uh, you want to buy hardly anything. Soap, we haven't got too much of that. Glassware, we definitely don't have enough of that. And cheese, we're slowly but surely running out of that, which is a little bit alarming. Clearly the people of Geekvale have got a taste for good cheese, and they're going through it pretty quickly. Um, we could buy tools, iron. We could buy iron from you. We just spent a load of money on buying stone. Ah, botherations. Okay, we could buy a huge pile of iron from you and then begin the upgrade of the town centre. That would be quite exciting. Uh, we could buy some barrels. Don't need to do that. Plate mail. Oh, he's got the proper armour and the heavy weapons. Okay. Hang on. But then if we transfer the gold, <laughs> we transfer the gold from there to buy the iron, we're not going to have enough gold to upgrade the town centre. It's just not going to work. Oh, this is this is terrible. Um, oh, hang on. We can press upgrade. I'm going to press the button. Um, although I can't press the button. We need the 100 iron. But then we won't have 3,500 gold in gods. <laughs> Bother. Okay, right, hang on. Some creative trading possibly is required. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, you've got... Oh, yeah, look. We can sell some more stuff to you. That's okay. Right, hang on. Let's just go and sell some more things. What would you like to buy? Candles and everything else? Okay, right. See what money we can make right now and how much iron we can buy. Okay, I think what we might have to do is sell quite a lot of iron ore, which does seem a little bit silly because we're selling lots of iron ore to then buy in some iron, but it's a nice, quick, easy solution, isn't it? So, okay, can we please stock a little bit more of the iron ore? Can we please put, I don't know, let's put, given we have just set up another iron mine, we're going to get this back nice and quick. What if we put 201 iron ore into the trading post and then we sell all of that? That would be wonderful. We've got 42 days to get that sorted. I think that's plenty of time. And then we can go and buy iron from Chappie here because he's selling it really cheap. Dirt cheap. Look at that. Far below the average price. That's really good. That's what we want to see. So, okay. I think we might do that. We could possibly as well stock up on barrels. We haven't got any barrels, so we could possibly get a few of those. Why haven't we got any barrels? Um, okay, what's the problem with that? Five barrels made in the last year. We could buy some of those as well. But uh, yeah, right now, we need to get that iron ore in so we can sell it over to Atka of the Iron Clan. There's four in there right now. We might need a little bit more. So here we go. Let's speed time on nice and quick and get them to load up the trading center with iron ore. Okay, I don't know what took them so long, but they've only put 32 units of iron ore into here and Atka is departing in one day. So this is all we're going to get. We're going to sell the 32 on for 256 money. So we're up to just about under a thousand gold, which is okay. Oh, we could sell some pottery actually. Hang on, hang on. 360, let's do that. So there we go, back over a thousand. But then yeah, she's going to clear off in a day's time. They took ages doing that. I don't quite know what the problem was. And then over here, let's just spend all of that money on some lovely iron. Do you know what? Hang on. Yeah, we don't need 150. Let's tone it down a bit. Let's save some of that money. Let's get, I don't know, 120, 116. That'll do. So buy and transfer that. And then yeah, could we just buy some barrels? Because you're selling them very cheap as well. We could always just grab a few of these. Let's grab, I don't know, 10 barrels. Why not, eh? There we go. Buy and transfer that. We shall have 10 barrels around the place. Thank you so much. And you have got the lovely plate mail and the lovely heavy weapons, but we can't afford those, alas. But never mind. Never mind, because now I think we can press the upgrade button. We've got 150 bricks. Tick. We've got 3,500 gold. Tick. We've got 100 iron. Tick. We've got 100 planks. Tick. Let's press the upgrade button. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right. That's going to take ages. That's going to take absolutely ages for them to move that all over. Maybe not the gold, because the gold is only over in the vault. They could just throw that over with a good arm on them. They could chuck that in, but everything else might take a while. But you know what? We're in no rush. Let's sit back and wait for them to load that place up with goodies. And the new foundry is in. Okay, that's very exciting. Right, so yeah, we've got Ania and Aowulf working in here. So let's get two more people in. So Jaya and Rosara and you lot 
don't make gold. Just make all of the iron. Make all of the iron all of the time. Thank you very much. That's what we want you to do. Just make lots of lovely iron because we need quite a lot of it to make weapons and armor and barrels and everything else. So there we go. Wonderful. Is the other one fully sort of stocked up as well on people? Yes, it is. So four people in that one, four people in that one. This is going very well. So now we should be producing a lot of iron because we have two iron mines. We've got a load of coal which we could possibly use as a tradable commodity now. If I press the right button, it would help, wouldn't it? There we go. 200. Oh, there you go. 244 coal now. So creeping up. So yeah, we did take that out of here once upon a time, didn't we? But I think possibly now we have the two coal mines with six people in each. We could maybe load coal up back into here if I could find where it is. There it is. Um, yeah, do you know what? So keep in stock on, and we'll always have... How, no, that, no, hang on. No, 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 no. That wasn't what I clicked, was it? I clicked that one. It must have moved. Uh, coal. So, um, yeah, let's put... I don't know. Let's always have about 50. Hang on. I'm just going to type 50 in because it's a neat number. There we go. Always have 50 coal in all the time. We should be okay now that we have two coal mines to make sure that we've got that number and plenty in reserve as well. Oh, look at that. They've put all of the planks and bricks and iron into the town centre. Now we just need somebody to come and hit it with the hammer. Can somebody please come along and hit the town centre with the hammer? That'd be quite nice. Thank you so much. Hang on. Move time on a bit quicker. Let's get somebody in to do this. Come on, 13 little bits of effort. That's all we need. That won't even take that long. All the stuff's already in here. You just need to kind of, you know, build some shelves and put up, put up some fancy walls and, I don't know, build some partition walls on the inside. It's all going to be fine. Here we go. Look at this. Um, oh, hang on a minute. This is very sad. Um, Luthark. Luthark the Forager has died of old age. Do we need to go and replace anybody there? Or does somebody automatically step into Luthark's shoes? We can check that, I suppose, because we know where the foragers are. So... There's a forager over there. Um, that's Eral. I think Eral's been around for a while. And then we have Kelsar over there and Silan over there. I don't quite know what's going on with the weird, glitchy, sort of flicky screen there. Um, we've got you over there. That's going very bizarre. Mina over there. Anna there, look, yeah, indeed. The building has room for more workers. So who'd like to go and do that? Ada. Or Arda, 16 years old, you can go and do some foraging. There we go, right. Um, okay, here we go. So, yeah, rest in peace, Luthark. You've done a grand job at doing some good foraging. But here we go. Back to here, because we're about to get a tier four town centre. Oh, that is very fancy pants. Look at that. It's entirely brick. It's got its own garden. It's got its own little kind of fancy hedge and little kind of garden bed type things. It's got something very fancy above the door. What's all that about? Maybe that's where the gold went, like a gold filigree type thing. It does have a coat of arms on. I mean, we wouldn't have designed that. I imagine at some point in the future of this game, you can design your own coat of arms. You can't do it now, I don't think. It's got a fancy door. It's got some little kind of um, sort of like bannery type things. Is there any bunting? There's no bunting. There is an exciting flag at the top of a big sort of spike there. That's quite fun. And it's got the bell at the top up there. It's a very lovely building. I like that. I like the fact it's got its own garden. And it's got little... Oh, look, it's got stained glass window type things in it. That's a bit posh, isn't it? Okay, that's very good. Um, I mean, ah, and there we go. That is, right now in the game anyway, as much as you can upgrade the town centre to current tier four we can't do it again so that is the highest tier a town center can go and we've got there that's very wonderful i like that i'm very impressed and i think with that done it's a perfect point to wrap things up for now that's what we kind of set out to do we've done it the long way round there's been a lot of kind of dithering and faffing and mucking about and you know fiddling around but we got there in the end that wall is looking particularly good over there how's the wall looking over here as well is that looking pretty good um yeah it's a bit of a mess around here this bit's become a little bit complicated. We'll try and sort that out next time, I think. That bit down there is looking pretty good. We've got the gate in, so they'll get that bit round there. So that's a little bit more defended. In fact, if we manage to sort that bit out, this entire side of the settlement is going to be nice and barricaded by a huge big wall. So yeah, then we need to figure out what we're going to do over here. 
in terms of building the wall on this side of the settlement. And I think, yeah, we'll get the wall sort of coming down over here, around the edge of the mountain. I don't think they can attack via the mountain itself. They can't sort of charge down here because they'll do themselves an injury. So I don't think they can come down there. So we should be okay. But yeah, we'll try and build a wall along here if we could, just yeah, to be a little bit safe. And then, yeah, then it can sort of go over here, maybe. Maybe sort of go like that and along, kind of along there to make sure we've got a little bit over here. But yeah, there we go. It's all looking very good. But um, yeah, I think with the town centre tier four done, we'll finish things up for now, come back next time, fiddle about with walls, and then just see what we can do. But I think with that done, with our town centre now fully upgraded, I think really my final goal here in, in um, Father's Frontier and here in Geekville is to get the wall sorted. I think once the grand defensive wall is in, that will do. I think, you know, once we've got the wall in and our people are nice and safe, I think we then sort of, you know, that could be a good point to finish the series on. Because I've been kind of thinking about an end point for this. And that's why I was intrigued to see what we could do with the town centre. I was thinking, what tier does it go up to? Four, five, ten, fifty? I don't know. But yeah, now I know that. That kind of gives me a bit of a clearer picture as to what we can do in the future and where we might kind of you know draw a line under things here for farthest frontier but there's still a little way to go yet get the wall in upgrade some more buildings because now we can upgrade things like the foundries and such like that we've now got the right tier building so there's still a bit to do there's a bit to do but yes i think maybe the end is in sight here for geekvale but yeah we're not quite done there's a little bit more work to do to make sure geekvale is a safe and wonderful place for the people who live here and we'll come back next time and see if we can work on that goal a bit more hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in farthest frontier but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will We'll see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding at a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous.